So my question is for Robbie. You got to recreate. I'm over here. I'm right here. All right. Uh, you got to recreate a really awesome moment to open up the park last night. So I'm just wondering what that was like for you to recreate. You know, one of the bigger moments that happened in the movie. You get to open it to everyone. Well, I think two moments that happened. It was amazing. Uh, it was a very nice thing. It, 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 and they did a great job. The effects of the director and stuff, the time and the time and the stuff. Thanks for the first time. We'll see you more. I'm glad that we were ever posting things. Next question. I don't see a lot of hands raised. Okay, I'm going to ask Mr. Davis a question. <laughs> Your favorite moment from last night? Um, I think it was my last night. I mean, it, it, it was such an amazing evening. You know, and I think there's, there's actors from the film that we feel so privileged to come here and be involved with these events um, and, and have the honor of, of opening such an amazing, an amazing, uh, I don't want to call it an attraction, but just an experience, I suppose. Um, and uh, so you from last night, it was just sharing it with everyone. You know, you know, we were lucky to have a preview during the afternoon, but not very many people have been through here. And uh, it was lovely to be able to kind of open up the, the brick wall and, and, and allow everybody to come through. And just to see people's faces who were seeing it for the very first time. I think that's what's so exciting about uh, Darwin Alley and all the new, uh, the new parts that the university studio created here is, is just it's, it extends the adventure for the, for the guests even further. Um, you know, if they were, if they were thrilled with Hogs and, and, and the whole boards and the, uh, the ride up there, I think this surpasses even that that we have uh, in this area. And um, I was lucky enough to go through with my family yesterday and show them um, the, uh, the, the escape of Rigots and the, uh, the whole Hogwarts Express. And, and just to see their faces uh, was, was really to me, so um, I think uh, I think fans of the films are in for an absolute treat to me. But I'm from film to reality, I wonder what that feels like for you. You talked a little bit about your impression. Did you walk around the last round as I compared to the filmmaking? Uh, I mean, I feature in the ride more than I do in the films. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I would like to actually see myself up there. That was I think that's where it's at really is it's in the delight of people who are in the park. Everything about everything about this place is amazing and there's a sense of wonder about the whole place which is really important. But it's when you see the kids do it, I think it's really funny things a lot there. So that was it for me. That interactive stuff right yeah. now. It is magical. It really is. I'm standing there for one like a ten year old. Yeah, I couldn't do it for a while. No, we need a bad thing. I think it's cool. Sorry, what was it? Thank you. Questions? Hi. Sure. Um, this question is for Robbie. Your character Hagrid introduces the strawberry peanut butter ice cream to Harry. Uh, have you had a chance to try it? What's your name? I have not. No. What is it called? Strawberry peanut butter ice cream. We're going to try it. We'll take care of it right away. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, yeah. Strawberry peanut butter ice cream. Um, 
sort of jaded about these things and you kind of you understand the workings. But I found myself protecting myself at times, you know, oh, what's happening? Really? And, and it was it was just absolutely brilliant. It totally takes you in. Um, and um, yeah, I, I'm going to write it again. I mean, honestly, it's just once is certainly not enough to take over the end. And uh, yeah, I, I think it, it sets a new benchmark in 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 a, in, a, in a mind. I mean, um, you know, if you, if you thought the uh, the, the writer was good, then uh, you know, this is I think it's a class of people that can say I think I trust it. Yeah. Did you buy it, boy? No, not yet. No, no, no. I was on the train yesterday. That was extraordinary. Yeah. Because yeah, uh, I, I didn't, like you, I spent a bit of time wondering how it's done. You do. Mm -hmm. You see, behind the scenes of these things, you kind of know how I thought they were done. They kind of jade you the way it was there. But I'm like, how did they? How? How? Have you seen this? What the? And, uh, you know, that, and then suddenly I appear in a motorcycle. <laughs> it goes off on a rocket. And like, that is so good. <laughs> and they, uh, Sound effects, you know, the way they coordinated the movement of the train and the, mm -hmm. the visuals, and there's a projection thing going on in the window, which I couldn't work out. It was terrifically. It's only four minutes or something. Mm -hmm. But you really feel like you've been in a journey, don't you? Mm -hmm. And so, you kind of very sick, it's lovely. And then you go back and it's slightly different visuals. Thank you. Oops. No, your question, please. Having been a part of the movies, this question is for all of you, by the way. I'm having been a part of the movies and attending movie premieres and attending the opening of the park. How does it feel uh, from an emotional standpoint, you know, being around fans and guests and media, you know, versus a movie premiere and uh, opening a theme park? Um, well, I mean, I think the, the last night opening was very much like one of the, the premieres we might have been to over the years for the films themselves. But they're, you know, always very well attended by, you know, thousands of people and, uh, you know, the media interest in, in openings of films and the openings of uh, you know, different parts of the Muslim world have always been very, very strong. And uh, it's, it's fantastic that the films and the, the Harry Potter in general just has so much support still, you know. And I think, you know, if you, if you look back, I talked about this last time a little bit, you know, the, the books obviously are where this all comes from. And, you know, people took the books and embraced them and then that led to the films being made and they embraced them and that led to all the what we see here at the University Studios uh, and beyond the studios here in London, etc. And it's because people embrace Harry Potter and, and want more you know, from it. And uh, so it really is all down to the fans. Uh, but of course, initially, J.K. Rowling had a brilliant creation which has so much depth that they can expand it out into, into all of these different areas and it still holds up. You know, here we are sitting in, you know, something that came from Jerome's imagination right here, which is, uh, which is just amazing. The great difference between last night and the British Open is that the red carpet was dry. <laughs> <laughs> One year, do you remember that? You know, they were slapping the red carpet, I suddenly realized that I was moving. I was moving my feet. I think it was like being on a speech block. It was, it was hilarious. It was only people on the red carpet trying to be rid of them. So, Ronnie, did you find it? <laughs> <laughs> well, there was a question on the side by the way. We're going to fly on the side. We got really lucky on that side. There's a question over here. Warwick and Donald, you both have had a rare opportunity to be over two of the most beloved franchises of all time. Um, Donald, I have a question. Um, can you tell us anything about your new role? No. Did you take the Grateful Valley? One more question, please. Um, let's go to the one in the back there, buddy. Yeah, thank you. Oh, hi. Um, can you talk about what you recorded for the rides here at um, Diagon Alley, especially Dom and Warwick, and your experience filming scenes for the Ring Rocks experience? Yeah, um, we did that, was it, like two years ago? It was yeah. a long time ago that we did it. Um, and uh, it was weird for me getting the makeup on again, um, and, uh, Stepping back into that character, you know, which I'm very fond of, you know, all the characters, the players and actors, you kind of become attached to, and uh, it, it was nice to, to, to 
stick on that face again and don't become the character. Um, we had fun doing it though. Um, we had to do the scene that was is, is projected as a silhouette in the pre-show area of the line. And um, I just remember we, we kept laughing quite a lot doing it. It was very unprofessional. Um, <laughs> but it's, I mean, it's a huge honor to be part of the ride, you know, and, uh, uh, and be in there and uh, just focusing. Uh, but uh, I'm more so than you, sir. I mean, you were doing the heroic moments. It was, yeah. You were very heroic. Thank you. The only you moment. You feel heroic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was completely heroic. And then I watched it back and all the way out when I sat. No, it was great. Like, I loved it, actually. It was, it was difficult because there was a lot of technical stuff at the same time. Like, much more technical stuff than when you're acting in the movie. So, yes. uh, because you realise there are all these machines and machinery that they spend. I mean, it must be minutes and minutes on. To keep it kind of going around, and every bit has to tie in exactly the way that you want to work. So the technical side of it was difficult, and then and then and then you start to have fun, which is always the best thing to do. And it was the same on the train. I went on the train before I went on the ride, and uh, the train was the same thing. I got to see Robbie do the same. I see my dad on the way back from the train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of waving. Hi, dad. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, my double exactly the same. Let's do that. Let's do that.